There is extreme body modification happening in Japan, and there was one thing that caught my attention. It's known as、uh, the Japanese bagel heads. And what they do is they inject saline into their foreheads for up to two hours until they get this bagel shape on their forehead.、Um, this lasts one night,、uh, and then the body absorbs the saline, and they claim it's completely safe. While, oh God. While they're injecting the saline in their forehead, what they do is they put their thumb in the middle of their forehead, and then the saline、um, basically gets injected around their thumb, which leads to the bagel shape. But th- look at th- these people, are, look, they're getting saline injected to their foreheads right now as we speak in this picture. <laughs> Which well, is not quite as we speak, but at that time, yes. Right, right, right.、Uh, mm-hmm. Okay, just when you thought the Japanese couldn't get any straight. No, don't say that. Don't say <laughs> that. Come on. It, because you see people no, no, doing no, no. body. Of course. Of no, course. no, people do body modification in the U.S. too. It's all throughout the, the world. It's not just in, in Japan. But this just happens to be a story from Japan. So just calm down. Yeah, not buying it.、Uh, So, there are plenty of countries where they don't do that at all. Okay, no, seriously, of course they do, they do it in the U.S. too. In fact, it started spreading in Japan once they got the internet. And they, in this story, they say basically in 96, 97, when the internet started spreading, they're like, oh, you can do that. And then that's when it picked up. And I know, of course, it's a tiny, tiny minority. But all these people are, well, they've obviously got issues. And I believe in freedom.、Uh, if you want to be a bagel head, And inject saline into your penis, which, by the way, some of them do. In their,、okay. in their scrotum, yeah. Yeah, that's a、yeah, genius idea.、Uh, go for it. It's, you know, these are free countries. You can do whatever you like in them.、Uh, but I got no interest. By the If way, if somebody's like, hey, you know what? I'm a bagel head and I've injected saline into my forehead and my scrotum, I'd be like, that's cool, but I'm just going to go somewhere else because that's not what I'm into. By the way, some people who believe in extreme body modification go so far as to amputate parts of their body. So, like, they'll amputate fingers, legs. Like, they think that that's totally cool. I, that, that amazes、yeah. me, too. I mean, it's a small minority, okay? Don't get me wrong. It's not like everyone in Japan is doing it. But it, it, there are definitely people who believe in that extreme modification. And, you know, they, they sharpen their teeth, so they look like vampires, they do the elf ears. Please, Anna. Vulcan ears. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, it's no, no. Look, there's something wrong.、Uh, you know, I, I believe in freedom. God bless. Okay, I'm not going to ban it. I'm, you know, I, we're not, we don't live in Saudi Arabia. It, you know, America, Japan, or God bless, you want to do it, okay? But for my, if, first of all, here's who I would ban it for my kids. And I might be unsuccessful in that ban, right? But if my kid comes and says, I'd like to inject saline in my head and don't worry, nothing's going to go wrong, I'd say, first, something is going to go wrong because I'm going to smack you upside the head. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lock you up in the basement so you're not going anywhere. Okay? We just did a story、uh, about that, Jenk. Do you really want to do that? What's that? I said, we just did a story about that. Are you, do you, are you sure you want to do that? Well, it, ironically, then my wife will report me to Child <laughs> Protective Services. And then I'll be locked up, and then my kid will have the bagel head anyway. Okay, but no, no, seriously, come on, don't do it. I mean, I think、uh, now I don't know if I'm being a jerk or not, but these people obviously have some issues with how they view themselves, right? I don't think if you're psychologically healthy, you think, let me warp my body. It's,、uh, they're obviously projecting how they feel about themselves psychologically onto their physical body, right? And, you know, who cuts their finger off? No, come on. No, it's. Maybe I'm saying the most obvious things in the world, but these are, this, this is all crazy talk. And, I, and if I could, right after I ban the five toed shoes, I'd ban this. All right. So, oh, I'm sorry, before this, one thing. Jake, everybody has a price $10,000. One night you do it. Would you do it? I would do it for $10,000 for one night. These, these people are doing it regularly. Like it, every night, it's the cool thing to do. Donut head. Yeah, not even close. Okay.、Uh, first of all, you're going to trust these idiots that it's perfectly safe? Where does the sailing go? I know. I mean, it's it te- could be safe. I know, I know. It, and it could be incredibly dangerous, and they find out two and a half years later when their head explodes. So, no, not interested. And something can go wrong, and then you look like that. No, 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 no way. 10,000 is not the right number. There's a number, but it ain't 10,000. What's the number? I'm very curious. 
I don't know. Fifty thousand dollars. What am I going to do? Say no at a hundred thousand? I don't know. It's probably a hundred thousand. Hundred thousand. Well, not so you would say no to fifty. Uh, okay, that's the most obvious question of all time. I knew you were going to say that. Everybody in the country knew you were going to say that. Just calm I down. I don't know. Leave me alone. <laughs> Look at Jang, Mr. Baller. I would take. I would take the ten thousand dollars. <laughs> I don't give a shit. I will inject. I'll inject it in my forehead. I'll inject it in my pinky. Wherever they want. <laughs> well, not. Yeah. What what's your price? Uh, I came up with ten thousand because uh, that's what I would go with. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I hear you. Uh, all right, price on Vulcaneers. Oh, zero. I would not do that's, it. Uh, I, I actually don't know the, the phenomenon of Vulcan. Is that permanent? That's not permanent, is it? They just do. Yeah, it is permanent. Yeah. They but basically, I'm... they have this cosmetic procedure that makes your ears pointy like elf ears. Oh, um, what's my price on that? No, yeah. that's not going to happen. Yeah, same here. No, come on, a billion? You wear a baseball cap, whatever it is, you know, and you retire to the Cayman Islands. A billion? Oh, oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay. I mean, I, I didn't think we'd actually go that high. Of course, yeah, definitely. Shit. <laughs> okay, good. Give me, a f give me a couple few mil. I'm down with that, too. What are you talking about? Give a, give what? A couple of million? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Look, there's a price for everything, man. It, you know, the amputations, the losing the fingers. Is there a price? Of course there is. You know, would you lose your pinky for a billion dollars? Oh, God. I don't know. That sucks. Yeah. It does suck. I like my pinky. I think I'll keep it. My pinky's valuable. I wouldn't do it. I, I don't think I'd do it either, but I'd think about it for a long, long time. The thing is, I'm not that miserable as a non-billionaire. And I like my pinky. So I think I would, you know, keep trying to live a comfortable life with my pinky instead of being tremendously rich without a pinky. You know what, I, what I'd constantly be thinking? Hmm. What if I accidentally lost my pinky in an accident? I'd feel so stupid for not taking the billion off. 